So the Last of Us Part 1 released on PC a few days ago and as has become the custom this was once again a really bad port. Now at this point I'm a little baffled and surprised as to how almost all of the AAA games that come out are so badly ported. Do they not care about their reputation? What is really going on? We had that big game called uh, Wild Hearts from EA that had a lot of issues with the port. Forspoken wasn't great and I'm not talking about the game but the port and the performance. And the only I think half decent one is Resident Evil 4 because that seems to be getting good reviews across the board. So why are big publishers, big game developers like PlayStation, Naughty Dog unable to have a proper working game at launch? It's just confusing to me at this point because Imagine how many refunds would have been processed, how many people would have been pissed off, and how much permanent damage this would have done to the game. Because this game first came out on PlayStation in 2013. Now, I played this on PlayStation 3. I have it on PlayStation 3, so I had no interest in getting this game. But I know a lot of people who were waiting to play this game finally on PC because they never owned a PlayStation. So can you imagine how bad they must have felt spending full sixty dollars pre-ordering this or buying it at launch and then getting this uh, badly ported game on launch and ten years later as well so this is a bit weird I'm, I'm just confused as to how this happens um, they have released a bit of a twitter thread saying they are going to fix it patch it apologizing and all that I mean that is all fine and good but apologizing after is is not going to help much because the damage has been done the reputation is bad already now you know, they may be able to turn it around and who knows it might be okay in a couple of years time most of the time it is the case where they patch it they fix it and they are somewhat better a couple of years later but the people who are paying the most money the people who are most excited about it the people who play at launch at full price they are the ones who tend to always suffer with the gaming industry it seems and this needs to change this needs to change they need to have some sort of internal release mock release where they launch the game internally have like a lot of PCs or testers try it out and then fix it and then re-release it because surely um, I don't know how many how many of you have gone through you know a software training or have studied programming or something but when I was in college some 20 years ago one of my teachers she was so insistent on the testing part that she would fail people if they did not do the testing properly because we often understand that when we are sort of programming we don't really care about the testing stuff we don't take it seriously because it's like extra work and we t just tend to code and just figure things out later but she used to penalize us if we did not have like a proper testing results in our projects I remember like 20 years ago one of my projects one of my classmates he skipped the testing and the rest of his project was fine and he, he failed that project because he skipped the testing and another got uh, like his grades deducted because they weren't doing the testing properly and it wasn't like uh, a long complicated process either you just run your uh, code and show the results with different variables so if that was the case I don't know <laughs> how they, this works because obviously they have dates and they need to release a game in a certain window with the last of us they wanted it to coincide with the HBO show or something but surely with these so many people working in such a big company it just sometimes feels like they have started the game and haven't even looked uh, at you know how it runs like they haven't even booted it on a PC to see how it works and that's just surprising to me now look at the reviews here 42 percent mixed now this is a great game um, I haven't played the sequel I don't care about the sequel but when I played the first game I really liked it I played it on PlayStation I bought a PlayStation 3 second hand and uh, bought the game from eBay it wasn't too expensive like less than 10 pounds or something at the time and played it enjoyed it had a great time one of my housemates he borrowed 
the PlayStation 3 from me and played that game with his girlfriend. So everybody wanted to try that game out and they played it and everybody liked it. But now look at this, 10 years later, it seems like it's such a worse process. Like I paid very little money for the PlayStation and very little money for the game. Obviously it was second hand. We played it, we got our uh, money's worth, enjoyment out of it, and everything was well and good. Now people are paying more and they're getting a worse product. Like if you look at some of the reviews here, when it runs, it runs flawless. When it crashes, it crashes, it crashes 150 times in a row. Um, I tried the game at launch, I tried it after the most recent hot fixes. Pile is far from finished and should be avoided. During six hours of the game, I've experienced seven heart crashes, hot stuttering garbage even on low settings. So you can see what they're saying. And obviously there will be some people who say, oh, it runs fine on my system. I have had no issues, blah, blah, blah. But we're talking about the general majority, like the experience of most people. And yeah, it is, it is uh, shocking how bad this is. Like they need to sit down and figure out a way that this doesn't happen. Like I said, some sort of mock internal release where they launch the game somehow internally on their PCs and just do a fresh install. Uh, I don't know, hire a bunch of testers, like two, three hundred people with different PCs, put them on NDAs and you know tell them to run their games on different configurations to see what they're reporting. Surely they have something like that. I mean, how would this pass otherwise? Like. I assume that's how things work, but apparently not because everybody's struggling. And what I'm hearing is the the C, uh, PCU the CPU performance is not optimized. Like it's using a lot more CPU than it should. And I think it's not a GPU related issue with this one. And look at this. This is full price, four thousand, four thousand rupees. Um, yeah, sixty dollar game, fifty pounds, seventy Canadian. And yeah, it'll be on sale for like, I don't know, 67% off in like two years time. It'll be optimized by then. It'll be patched like all the other games. And the people buying two years later will get a much better deal. It's the most hardcore fans that tends to suffer. I don't know, man. This is just mind boggling at this point. Like even in 2023, we are still having this. Come on. And this is not the first Sony port either. Like, I can understand their first port was uh, Horizon Horizon Zero Dawn. This was a bad port when it first launched. It wasn't completely terrible. I remember playing it and not having issues for the first one or two hours. And then occasionally there were some issues. I put it off and then tried it again, and it was fine. Um, from what I understand, God of War was perfectly fine. Spider-Man was fine. Returnal seems to be fine. Days Gone, I believe, was like one of the better ports. Uncharted was fine. So how did they mess up... Um, the last of us part one because this is strange to me i think it's once again them trying to rush it out in time to coincide with the hbo release that is causing the most problem here otherwise i think they might have taken another three months or something to fix it patch it test it and perhaps it would have been fine i think this push to release it at the same time is what's causing the problems here Anyway, hopefully they learn. Hopefully these, these big AAA publishers figure out a way. Maybe, I don't know, talk to Capcom or something who actually have released some decent ports on time without all these issues. In fact, let's see if people are talking about Resident Evil port. Because I played Resident Evil 2 on launch was fine. I did not hear any issues with 3 regarding the port. You can see overwhelmingly positive. Surely there's no issues here. Um, any negative reviews here? I don't even see a negative here. At least in the top ones. Uh, yeah, nothing regarding the um, port. Port being bad, performance being bad. Now, RE Engine tends to run well. I've noticed, like, um, even with my older graphics card, the Resident uh, Evil games or the Capcom games that use the RE Engine even DMC5, they all ran flawlessly. I was running DMC5 at 1440p even on my RX 570. It was that well optimized at over 60 FPS. So some of these people, they tend, even Microsoft, their games are better optimized. 
Um, I don't know about Halo Infinite because I've heard some issues there, but uh, yeah, this is strange because this is not the first uh, Sony game. So my guess is once again, it's the um, HBO show and them trying to coincide it that's causing the issues. But anyway, just wanted to ramble and rant a bit because this is getting frustrating. Like at this point, AAA company releasing a port or a remake, it's just better to stay away from it. It's not worth it. It's not worth sixty points, uh, sixty dollars, and the hassle of having to deal with all these technical issues. Just wait a couple of years, pick it up on like a seventy percent sale or something, and you'll be much better off. You'll you'll be thinking, what was the fuss? Why were people so upset at launch? Sadly, it's the people who pay, who make the noise, who are upset, who finally get something done. But yeah, it will hurt the reputation in the long term. Anyway, let me know what you think. Have you played this game? Have you played it on PlayStation? Were you looking forward to playing this on PC? And yeah, what are your thoughts on this? Thank you for watching. See you next time.